Hey everybody, it's Allison, and we are ready to recap day three of four at CinemaCon 2022. We started our morning with Disney. You gotta love Disney. They gave us a good 20 minute look at Doctor Strange and the multiverse, multiverse of Madness. I have to admit, I wasn't so excited to see this movie when I saw the trailers, but after the footage I watched today, I am much more interested to watch this movie. I think y'all are gonna like it. Next up, another big one from Disney, Lightyear. We all know about Buzz Lightyear. Um, however, this time it's not Tim Allen, it's the voice of Chris Evans. That's right, Captain America goes to Buzz Lightyear. Another one that I was kind of iffy on, it looks great and the story is really interesting. So check that out when it comes out in theaters because it's gonna be really good. Uh, Bob's Burgers, another animated one. It's a musical. So it'll be kind of fun to see. Uh, those of you who are fans of the show, I know you're gonna love it. And then finally, we got to see some amazing 3D footage of Avatar. It looks so good. If you guys have ever ridden the ride at um, Animal Kingdom, it, this just blows it out of the water. It's gonna be amazing. So get ready for that as well. Then we had a little break and in the after, late afternoon, we got to Universal Studios and Focus Features. So they had so much to talk about and they brought out not only celebrities, but some members of the NATO community, general managers of different theaters in different parts of the country. So that was kind of cool watching the stars kind of interact with these people who run movie theaters. Uh, we started with Jordan Peele and nope. I love that title, nope. <laughs> um, it was interesting. It's definitely Jordan Peele and um, yeah. It's not gonna be about what you might think it's gonna be about. So you'll be sure to check that one out. Um, next up, we had Halloween Ends. Jamie Lee Curtis, I love this woman. She came out, she was no holds barred. She leaves nothing on the table. And uh, she talked about starting with this franchise 44 years ago. That's right, 4-4. Uh, she looks phenomenal still. Uh, the movie looks really great. It has epic battle scene probably <laughs> with her, hopefully, killing Mike at the end. We don't know. Uh, but, I mean, it just, it's the end of a, a, a storied career for her in terms of horror films. So it's going to be a good one to see. Um, along the lines of horror genre, we have another one called Megan. Think about Chucky, but kind of in female robot form. So they say artificial intelligence is eventually gonna take over our world. And this is what happens if that does happen. So if you're ready to be scared, go see Megan. <laughs> Focus features had some interesting things. You know, they're a little more art house, uh, but you know, it, uh, we'll see. You know, they had some good stuff coming up. Then we got Steve Carell on stage and gave us Gru. He did a little bit of Gru for us. So we got to see a little bit of the Minions that's coming up, the rise of Gru. And uh, it looks good. It definitely looks good. If you love the Minions as much as I do and are ready to laugh, you'll be looking forward to that. And then finally, we got what's right behind me here. <laughs> Jurassic World Dominion, the end, maybe, of Earth, or people on Earth, because dinosaurs seem to be eating everybody. Anyway, footage looks phenomenal, can't wait to see it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, day three's over, tomorrow I get to see Top Gun. I'm super excited about that. So. Check us out again tomorrow night where we do a wrap up of the end of CinemaCon of 2022.